Finding your way with resources, tapping into conversations to create your research roadmap. When you first get started on a research paper, you may feel like you have no direction, like you're driving along a highway without a map and with no road sides to guide you. By figuring out the best sources to use for your paper, you're shaping your own thinking on a topic and providing a sense of direction for your research. As you read what others have said about an issue, you are tapping into conversations that will help you decide which direction you want to go in. When you first start out, though, it may be tempting to rely on easy online resources like Wikipedia. While these can be good for getting ideas and determining some of the conversations that exist about a particular topic, you should never rely on Wikipedia or other sites on the open web to be your only source of information. If so, you're likely to lose your way in information sources that are unreliable. Instead, books can be a great place to start for research on any topic. While every source has an agenda and books should always be evaluated to determine what the author's agenda is, books you find at the library tend to be more scholarly. They are useful for learning about the context or big picture surrounding a topic. They can also be good for placing historical information in a larger context and providing comprehensive, in-depth information and summaries of others' research. And remember, the library has ebooks as well as print books, so you don't always have to come to the library. Have you ever found that you just needed the definition of something or some basic facts about a topic for your research? Rather than go to an online source, try using some of the online and print encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other reference sources available through the library. You may be surprised to learn how much information there is in these sources that isn't available on the open web. So next time you need to learn about key facts, ideas, or uncover background information on a topic, person, or event, consider accessing the library's print reference books or see what we have in some of our reference databases like Gale Virtual Reference Library. Magazines can be a great gateway into the conversations surrounding a particular topic. While they are not considered scholarly resources, they can be useful to, for introducing you to topics that might, you might want to investigate further. They are, so, they are also good resources for researching topics involving popular culture or those that have not been researched extensively by scholars. Examples include magazines such as Smithsonian, Newsweek, and Time Magazine. You can find them just about anywhere, including in the library and in the library databases. A journal is a collection of articles written by scholars and researchers in an academic or professional field. Articles are reviewed by a panel of other experts before they are accepted, a process known as peer review. These articles are often referred to as academic, scholarly, or peer-reviewed and are considered to be some of the best sources available for scholarly research. They usually present original research on a very specific aspect of a topic and can supplement some of the more general information you may have found in books. To find articles, look in library databases like Academic Search Complete. For some topics, such as those dealing with current events, newspapers can be one of the best resources for your research. However, they are often short and provide up-to-date reporting on an event without providing much information about its historical or social context. Also, you should be especially aware of bias in newspaper articles and be sure to look at several news sources, including those from other countries, to make sure you are reading about the story from different angles. You can also see how historical events were portrayed in the news by looking at articles that were published at the time an event occurred. You can find current articles on online news websites. Many of these sites limit how much content you can read, however, so library databases like ProQuest Newsstand are also good sources of newspaper articles. The United States government collects and produces a vast amount of information. This includes information required for conducting government business and important information produced to educate or share information about government programs, laws, rules, and regulations, our country's history, plus much more.
Most federal sources, including websites, will tell you where they got their information and may even give you a phone number to get more information. So even though they are websites, government agency websites can often be the most authoritative source of information for particular topics. If you are doing research on any type of legislation, education, the environment, or health, a government website can often be a good resource. Likewise, government sites are often an excellent source of census data and other statistical information. Finally, primary sources are original materials created or produced during a particular period of study. They can include diaries, letters, interviews, speeches, photos, maps, autobiographies, news footage, and more. They are often an excellent source for research on historical topics and can be found in physical and online archives, books, and in some library databases. Does it still feel like the roadsides are written in Greek? If so, that's okay. It can often be difficult to determine what resources will point you in the right direction for your particular topic. Just remember that you can always ask a librarian for directions. We are here to help and can be reached via instant message, email, text, phone, or in person by appointment or at the Start Here desk on the library's first floor. Just go to www.fresnostate.edu forward slash library forward slash ask underscore us to find out all the ways you can get research help.